What's up guys, in this video we have a few different things to look at and this box pretty much says it all. There's no reason to be alive if you can't do deadlifts. Uh, so in this video we're gonna take a look at a couple of different deadlift jack options and the two circumstances that we're focusing on are one, if you have a home gym but you're in a smaller space so you don't have floor space for just a giant deadlift jack to just be sitting in the floor taking up room or if you work out at a commercial gym but your commercial gym doesn't have a deadlift jack and you deadlift a lot of weight and you need a jack uh, what are some portable options that you can toss in your gym bag and take with you so the first thing that we're going to take a look at is the good old-fashioned cheap reliable dead wedge we're going to be taking a look at your good old two and a half pound plate which is already going to be at the gym for you and then finally the best for last we will take a look at the Cleva Built, Clava Built, however you say that, Cleva Built Genesis Jack 2.0. So let's get into these. So here is the dead wedge. Very, very simple. So you basically just roll the weights up onto the wedge. Same kind of principle that you can do for free with a two and a half pound plate, which this will work a little bit better. That's actually really nice. I like that the attention to detail, the double logo there. That's, that's nice. I like that. I like that. I'm definitely a huge fan of some nice packaging. This looks like a murder weapon right here. We have our three options here. We have our good old free two and a half pound weight plate. Moving up the price spectrum, we have the original dead wedge. Still cheap, but effective. And then finally at the top of the list, we have the premium option. We have the Cleva Built Genesis Jack 2.0. So I've used this option many, many, many times. I've used a normal jack many, many, many times, but I've not used either of these two options. But I will say right out of the gate, I'm going to guess that we're gonna go in order of okay option, better than nothing, a little bit better than that. And then this one is definitely, I can already tell you, gonna be the best option. But the main thing is not what is the best option, but what is the best option for the price and should you spend money on the more premium option or should, should you go with the cheap option or not purchase anything and just use your good old two and a half pound weight plate. So I've been comparing these for a few weeks now and basically this is intended to be your definitive guide to your portable deadlift jack options or your space saving uh, deadlift jack options. And what we're going to do is we're going to compare portability, we're going to compare functionality, we're going to compare price. I'll give the absolute best, so the absolute winner, not factoring in the price. And then I will give the best for the money, so the overall winner. But before we get into the video, hi, my name is Ryan Treadway, founder of TreadawayTraining.com, where we turn skinny guys into jacked men. If you want more information on body transforming training and nutrition topics, and a lot of those topics have been centered around home gym training like this video, consider subscribing. So first we'll take a look at functionality because obviously if it, you know something sucks, it doesn't matter how much it costs or how much space it saves. If it sucks, then it sucks. And starting off with the two and a half pound option, this is going to be the third place finisher in terms of the functionality. It works, it's fine, you know, if you don't wanna spend any money, I mean, you're, you're, you can use this forever and be perfectly fine. Here at the home gym, we're a little bit limited on weight, so the most weight that I could get on the bar uh, to test out each of these was six plates and a 35, and I could roll that up on here perfectly fine, no issue at all. And with the amount of weight that I could put on my bar, I didn't really notice there being much of a difference between the three. I will say that as I put the you know more and more weight on there, I did start to notice it getting a little bit more difficult, particularly with the two and a half pound plate, since it just has the flat front and it's not designed to have something roll up onto it. Whereas this is obviously a jack, and then this has that nice ramp on the front and it's intended to have weights roll up onto it this just kind of has that flat front and so it became a little bit more difficult with six plates and 35 on each side um, with the two and a half pound plate 
but it still wasn't to a place where I would consider it difficult. I would say you're probably going to have to get up around 700 plus pounds on the bar before this starts really becoming a hassle. And if you're a 700 plus pound deadlifter, then you're probably also strong enough that that's not going to be an issue for you. The only complaint I have about this option is if you're not careful, you can just roll it over the two and a half and off the other side. Whereas with the dead wedge here, which is our second place finisher, it has this little high side to it. So when you roll the weight up onto the wedge here, it kind of settles down in this little groove versus just rolling over. Cause this is just completely flat. And you know, if you roll it up there with too much force, it'll roll right over and it kind of sits in the cradle with this dead wedge right here. And then the first place finisher for the functionality category is no surprise, the Genesis Jack 2.0. And what I was actually surprised about, I mean, I kind of knew going into this that this was gonna be the best option, but what I was actually surprised about was how close these two actually were. This actually, I've actually never used a dead wedge before. I bought this specifically for this video and I was very surprised as to how well this thing works. This thing is actually very, very good for the money, you know, <laughs> foreshadowing for the end of the video. In terms of speed, they're all relatively the same. I will say the two and a half pound plate, once you start adding more and more weight on there, might take you maybe a split second or two seconds longer uh, to get it up onto the plate versus using this option or the, the Genesis Jack option, but not an amount of time that really is going to matter or should even be considered in your final purchasing decision. Getting into the portability side of things, obviously your two and a half pound plate is going to be the winner because you don't actually have to carry it to the gym if you're working out at the commercial gym they're already going to be there so you're not taking anything with you it's not anything additional in your gym bag and then if you're working out at home then you probably already have your two and a half pound plates on a weight tree so again nothing additional to store and then a very close second is the dead wedge because this takes up basically no space at all. If you're working out at home and you're in an extremely tight space, you can just stick this thing in a drawer. Or if you're going to the gym and you don't want to carry in a gym bag or something, which if you're doing heavy deadlifts, you're probably carrying a gym bag anyway, because you probably have a belt. Um, but even if you didn't have a gym bag, you could literally just stick this thing in your pocket and then walk in the door at the gym. And then <laughs> and that's it. Um, and then coming in third for the portability side of things is going to be the Genesis Jack. It's not big. I mean, it's actually incredibly compact considering this is a full on deadlift jack, whereas this technically wouldn't really be considered a jack. It's just a little something to roll the weight up onto. So in terms of jacks, this thing is teeny tiny. The only reason it's in third place is just because of how small this option is and the fact that you're not carrying anything at all to the gym or not having anything additional to store at all when it comes to the two and a half pound plate um, but this will fit into most duffel bags it'll very easily fit into a medium or large size duffel bag or a backpack um, it'll even fit into probably most small duffel bags and then the only type of gym bag that it's really not going to fit into very well is if you're using one of those like drawstring basketball style shoe bags it will fit in there just fine but the handle a little bit of it will be sticking out of the top which isn't really a big issue just something to note there getting into the price obviously your two and a half pound plate is going to be free because you already have the weights at home or you're going to be using the weights at the gym so nothing extra to purchase there and then the dead wedge is actually very affordable it is $13.99, I believe, at the time of recording. So very affordable, uh, not, not expensive at all. And then the most expensive option is, of course, again, the Cleva Built Genesis Jack 2.0. It is $99.99 at the time of recording, plus shipping, and I believe mine came out to be with shipping, uh, $117 and some change. So definitely the most expensive 
of the three options here. Now, which one of these is the absolute best? And as I already predicted at the beginning of the video, the two and a half pound plate is going to be our third place finisher. It works. I mean, it's fine. It, it'll do the job. And if you're more than happy to continue just rolling the plates up onto a two and a half pound plate uh, and it doesn't bother you, then hey, go for it. If you don't want one more thing to throw in your gym bag, that option will continue to serve you just fine. But if you wanted to make a small investment of only 14 bucks to step up to a dead wedge, this thing again is extremely portable. You can even stick it in your pocket, like I said earlier, if you want to. And this is gonna be a significant, in my opinion, a very significant step up from your two and a half pound plate. And it's not gonna break the bank either. And then again, as I already predicted, the Genesis Jack is the absolute best option. The big thing here is it is a little bit of a jump up in price. I mean, you're going from 14 bucks to 100 bucks. So it is definitely a step up in price but it is also definitely a step up in functionality as well. So that's just something that you'll, you'll have to weigh out, which brings us to the best for the price option. And even though the two and a half pound plate is free, I'm still gonna give it the third place finish because for only 14 bucks, stepping up to the dead wedge is a significant improvement. Now putting these two head to head, I'm gonna say the best for the money is gonna be the dead wedge. It's gonna be the first place finisher simply because of how cheap it is. Now, if you're the type of person that you just want the best and you don't mind spending that extra money, this is definitely the best and is gonna be the best option to go with if you're okay with spending 99 bucks plus shipping, which again for me was 117. So 14 bucks, 117 bucks, over 100, slightly over $100 more. Um, so value for money, this is your winner, but absolute best, this is your winner. Plus this thing has a lot of nice nifty features in there. It has a nice, easy to grip contoured handle to where you can scoop up under the bar, pull back. That's a really nice option. Has the extra plastic on there to give it a, a little bit better of a grip. Has the plastic right here to protect your bar. And it even has plastic on the bottom so that if you are deadlifting on a deadlift platform or a wood platform or something like that, uh, the plastic isn't going to scratch up your platform. And it has these nice little ridges on the front right here. Uh, to get a nice grip so that when you scoop up under it, it has that, that nice little teeth to grip into the ground without scratching since it is plastic. You can pull it right on back. If you want to check out my home gym, click this link. If you want to check out the website, click this link. As always, God bless you and your family, and we'll see you next week. All right, guys, so full disclosure, a funny little side effect of me being with Rex literally 24-7, right before I hit go, on the recording i had to go get something out of my bag and i legitimately held my hand up to the camera like motioning to stay as if the camera was gonna get up and and follow me off so there's that